Hello, once again, welcome uh, for this lesson. This is our lesson number 14, or we can call it our tutorial number 14. Previously, we've been looking at queries, and uh, in the previous lesson, we looked at data, date queries, like queries concerning dates. We still have a lot more examples we can do on such queries, but uh, that is just the basic, and we can have more examples uh, done. Now, uh, in this lesson, I want us to look at a new thing, and we are going to look at calculations in queries. And I'm also going to teach uh, one important aspect of data importing, or how to import data into a database table. Now, uh, we have here data that I want us to give a try. We have this table here given in word processing. They've told us uh, to create this table in a database. Now, I'm just going to give this database my own name and the table my own name. But most importantly, we are going to import this, to export this data to a database table. Now, just one important aspect that you have to note is that we cannot import, I mean export data from a word processor or from word processing. But we can do so when this data is taken to spreadsheet and that's what i want us to do here quickly so i'm going to copy this table i'm going to highlight it and copy after copying it i'm going to go and open a spreadsheet file uh, it's a new spreadsheet then i'm going to paste that data there so i've carried the whole table and pasted it in spreadsheet here is our table in spreadsheet now, from here, I'm going to give this table any name that I want. I'm just going to name it. I'm going to call it, uh, let me save it on the desktop. It's called import. That's just the name I'm giving it. So that I recall very well, I mean quickly. So I've saved it there. Then I go and close it. No problem with closing it. Then I go and start a database. In this case, I'm going to create a new database. I'm going to create a new database. I'm going to give it any name. Uh, calculations. Okay, I'm going to give it Starlight. Starlight Academy. Then I'm going to save it on uh, the desktop of my computer. So you come and look for the desktop, right here, and I save it. So I create. Now, it's a database without any table. It's not having any table. It's our database right there. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to import data which is in a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is closed so that it comes here in our database. So I'm going to go to external data, then I come to Excel. That means I'm importing data from Excel. Then I go and locate my uh, spreadsheet file. It's on the desktop right there, and it's called import. Import, I open. Then import the source data into a new table in the current database. Yes, of course, because I don't have any table already existing in my database. So I go and say OK. Then they ask me, first row contains column headings? I'll say yes, because all my first, the whole of my first row contains column headings. Then I move to next. Then I start editing the data types. In the first field, what do I need? Short text. Definitely. I may not need auto numbers. Reason being, the data is already typed. I'm just importing. We use auto numbers in case we want to reduce all the time we take typing the records in that field. Then name. It is short text. Sex. It is short text. Mathematics. Double. Double stands for number. English. Double stands for number. Science. Science double signs for number and SST double signs for number so that means all my data types are okay in case they're not fine you come and change to whatever you want then I come to next 
choose my own primary key let access add primary key remember check on the primary key that access is giving us that's not our it's not anywhere in our fields so i go and choose my own primary key and yes my fields have come so i choose student id because it's the one that qualifies to be the primary key when i come to next what should the table be called a students i'm just giving it a name students uh, marks that's the table name then i come and finish finish importing yes of course should i save the steps i may not need to save the steps then i close there my table comes with every record in it so i have finished typing all that but that only happens if your table is in spreadsheet so in any case when you're given a table in word you can transfer it to spreadsheet and then uh, export it to database so i have finished now what next i'm going to do the question that has been given to us uh the instruction says create a form that will display all the results of all the students add a field for total and capture the total score for every student create a query to display the total scores for all the students in class now the first instruction is for us to create a form now that means we are going to see how to calculate the total in a form and as well calculate the total in our query now let's go and start with the form our database is right here then we go and create a form form design I add existing fields I need all the fields I think I add all of them now they've told us to also do what add a field for total now if you're using a form to calculate and you add any field that you may need to also appear that implies we are going to use what we call a text box just like these ones are text boxes so we are going to add a field called a text box now I come and pick a text box then I come and draw it here that's our field what is its name its name is total so the name is total I come and add the name the field name then what should be in that total we are going to calculate so in the calculations we shall say is equal to what are we calculating we are calculating we are adding up all the fields so we are going to say is equal to the first field is mtc it is an existing field then we put it in square brackets plus what is the next field english english we close that plus what next the next field is science please ensure that you type whatever what is typed here exactly the moment you miss out you get something different and all the fields which are existing please put them in double quotes i mean in square brackets so that is science that's how it's typed then what next sst in square brackets square brackets then we come and, and view our form after typing all that that's what we needed that's what the question asked us to do then we come and view the form the total is right here for the first student if I go the next student the total is right there it has been calculated very well so that is in a form now we I'm just going to call this one here calculation form calculation form it's okay now I'm going to create a query to also do the same so I go and uh, I go to create I come to query design I add close come and other fields add all the fields then I come now remember it's a new field that we are going to create 
So I'm going to zoom. And this is how we create a new field. We come and say total. Then we put the double quotes and we say we are adding. Now we don't here in this case put equal signs. We just say this is MTC plus English in square brackets English plus square brackets science plus square brackets SST after that we say okay just have to know that the fields are as they appear in the table then we come and run and we are able to find the total so that is how basically we do that and that brings us to the end of this uh, lesson so let's wait for the next lesson and see what is going to particularly appear remember we've been dealing with calculations in queries and data importing but we have also added one more aspect of calculations in forms so be blessed as you wait for the next lesson